Jonas thinks hot dogs are sandwiches, you should ask him about it later. Um, <laughs> take up a lot of his time. Hey guys, it's been a minute. Uh, my jaw kind of is fucked up right now, so bear with me. Um, so yeah, Roadhead. Um, <laughs> I, I actually saw Roadhead in real life for the first time this past weekend, as a third party observer, obviously. And uh, I was dropping a friend off and, uh, at like 3.30 in the morning, and I looked across the street, and there's this guy asleep, I thought he was asleep, in his car. And I make sure my friend gets inside, and then I look back over at the guy, and there's this woman sitting next to him, and she's doing, you know, kind of the... <laughs> I was like, what is my professor doing out this late? <laughs> like, we have a test tomorrow. It's crazy. Um, I'm kind of a little grumpy. Uh, and this is the real question. How the fuck do you ride a bike up a hill? Like, I used to be able to do it. Like, I like in the neighborhood, dusk till dawn, like, sister on the back peds, and then you break really quickly, and she falls and busts her face, and you're finally the pretty sister. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my bike doesn't have pegs. Uh, just take off the middle, man. Do it yourself. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah, no, seriously, I don't know how to. I don't know how to ride a bike. I'm really tired of practicing, like going down to the lowest gear and just pedaling really hard. I have been told that pedaling with my hands is part of the issue, but I will work on that. Um, and it sucks because no matter how hard I try, once I get to the bottom of the hill, I have to get off the bike and walk. You know, and it's one of those things like when you're just done running or trying to, where you kind of are like on a busy street and you know everyone's watching. And so you try to make it look like you just ran a thousand miles and you're like, <laughs> 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 you don't even have a fucking watch on, but it doesn't matter because if you did, you wouldn't know how to like do that. Um, that's okay. But it sucks because I don't even have a shitty bike. Like, I have a nice ass bike. Like, I, all, it's all I wanted for Christmas. I was like, I don't have a car. Walking takes fucking forever. I could put my goods from the farmer's market in the basket. I could start wearing capris. I got so excited about this, this life I could have with this bike that I didn't even fucking have yet. I was like, my name could be Winona. I love jam bags. <laughs> But I did get the bike, and uh, and I was like really excited to use it. I was gonna use it every day, ride to class. Um, but then I started getting uh, laid regularly, and as payment for my time, you know, with me and to see my beautiful Barbie vagina. Um, I do, I do. She's prettier than me, fucking bitch. Um, they would they would give me rides to class. Um, but I recently broke up with him, and uh, but I was running late the other day, so I called him up. You know, I was running late, and I was like, "Will you please give me a ride to class?" And he said, "Give me back my travel mug." And I was like, "People can be so selfish. Can you believe that?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I, I got, I strapped on my boots and I put on my helmet. Which, by the way, if you don't wear a helmet when you ride a fucking bike, especially in a town where there's just like hungover 19 year olds everywhere, probably getting roadhead at the moment. That's like, that's like as unsafe as chain smoking in like a rusty cage made of barbed wire while fucking a grizzly bear without a condom. Uh, so don't wear your helmet. Um, moral of the story, long story short, I tried to run up the hill and it was, it was hard. That's it. <laughs> I've been highly dismorphized. <laughs>